Carl is one of the exceptional people in life. Carl is the type of person you want to listen to and get to know. Carl is one of the custodians at work. He doesn't have any degrees or higher education, yet he seems to be very well informed about life. Carl is always happy and upbeat and never seems to be too down when things don't go well. Carl reminds us frequently that he has never had a bad day. I'm not certain that that is true, I know Carl has had a difficult life. Carl lost his only child in an automobile accident when she was five years old. A driver from the opposite side crossed the center line and hit Carl's car head-on. His daughter was instantly killed. Carl's wife died two years earlier from cancer. I guess the poor man has had several bad days, don't you think, my friend? Whatever happened in the past, Carl seems to be dedicated to making the present and future better. Carl is always complimenting, encouraging, and sharing kind words with people. I think I am going to try and be more like Carl. I admit that I tend to be too critical in my thinking and often miss the good in what people do and who they are. If I started to look for the good in every situation, do you think my worldview would dramatically change my friend? Perhaps my first call of the day is to build up those around me. I could affirm the dedication of my co-workers. I should share kind words with people who may not expect to hear them. I could speak a whole new world into existence for myself and those around me. Perhaps I would never have another bad day, my friend. You will find joy in each kind word you share with another person. A person finds joy in giving an apt reply, and how good is a timely word? Proverbs 15 verse 23 Do you think you have too little to give a lot? Giving is not restricted to money flowing from one source to another. Giving comes in various forms and can be accomplished in myriad ways. Let kind words flow freely from your mouth from an endless stream of compliments, affirmations, and regards to the people I have placed in your life. Your physical and spiritual support system is clearly a gracious gift from me, but each individual's care, feeding, and growth is in your hands, my child. A gesture of kindness will feed the soul for days. Kind words and loving replies can come back to you and bring joy to them. If you want to feel good inside, fill your family members with affirming words first. If you want to feel appreciated, compliment the service person that brings you your meal. Do not hesitate if it is your desire to feel on top of the world today. Find someone living at the bottom of the world to lift up in praise with glowing comments. Fill every encounter with joy with the kind words you share. I created everything that exists by merely speaking. Grow to appreciate and understand your awesome power in harnessing the spoken word. Let there be kind, loving, affirming words flowing from your mouth to create a supportive environment around you. When your affirmations come from your heart, they can touch and change the recipient's soul. An affirmed life creates a wonderful world in which to live. Speak your world into existence, my sacred heart. I know we have our challenges from time to time, my friend. We also encourage the people who follow this devotional to read the Bible and consistently pray. All of the things we encourage you to do are to place you in a physical setting to practice a spiritual action. Having faith in our Savior, Jesus, is vital but putting that faith into action in a normal environment helps us grow spiritually and encourages those around us. We have another challenge for you, my friend. Are you ready for the day of Carl? For the entire day, try to say only nice, supportive, encouraging, and inspiring things to whomever you are with. For the entire day tomorrow, spread kindness as far as you can. I bet you won't have a bad day. May I pray for you, my friend? Loving God teach us to love one another without restraint. Show us how to look for the good before considering the bad things around us. 
remind us that all of life is based upon our interpretation and perception of what we experience. Help us experience love before we look for negative or evil in a person's life. We know that you have the power to create by just speaking. Teach us to create goodness with our words. Let our words of inspiration help someone who is struggling. May our kind words lift the weight from a sad soul for the day. Let our positive statements become infectious so that those around us will become speakers of holy kindness. Let us create joy in the lives of those around us. May our words transform a bad day into a time of hope and positivity. You gave us the mouths to speak, now give the words with which to share kindness and love. Bless us, Father, show us how to love our neighbor, O Jesus, and give us the power to transform lives, blessed Spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray and say Amen. May God give you the words you will need to speak to recreate your world, my friend. I hope you will find countless occasions to share kindness and love tomorrow. Life today is complex enough, it would be nice to hear some positive kind things with all the negative things that happen around us. Perhaps if we reminded people that there is nothing closer to them than the Spirit of God, they would see what a glorious life we have. Go in peace and spread kindness and love everywhere.